In a quaint village nestled between rolling hills, lived a young girl named Maya. Her sparkling eyes held the promise of curiosity, and her heart was an open book ready to be filled with stories. But there was one thing that set Maya apart from the other children. She had a special bond with an old woman named Abigail. Abigail was the village storyteller, known far and wide for her wisdom and the depth of her experiences. Maya would often visit Abigail's cottage, a cozy little haven filled with the fragrance of herbs in the warmth of well-lived years. In the center of the cottage hung a large, intricately woven tapestry that caught everyone's attention. The tapestry was a work of art, portraying scenes from various chapters of Abigail's life, woven together with vibrant threads of memories. One day, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting an amber glow across the village, Maya found herself listening to Abigail's stories. My dear Maya, Abigail began. Do you see this tapestry? Each thread holds a memory, a lesson, a glimpse into the chapters of my past but remember, the past is a teacher, not a prison. Intrigued, Maya leaned in, eager to hear more. Abigail continued, When I was your age, I was a curious soul like you, always wanting to explore beyond the boundaries of this village. One summer, I set out on a journey to the neighboring town. I met fascinating people, learned new skills, and had adventures I cherish to this day. Maya's eyes sparkled with anticipation. And she asked, But why do you say the past is a teacher? Quote, Abigail smiled warmly. Well, my dear, not all my experiences were pleasant. There were mistakes, heartaches, and moments I wish I could change. But I wove them into this tapestry. Not to trap myself in their threads, but to learn from them. You see, our past is a teacher if we choose to look at it as one. We can learn from our successes and our failures. And in doing so, we become wiser and stronger. Maya nodded, her mind whirring with thoughts. Abigail continued her story, recounting a time when she had attempted to grow exotic plants in her garden. Only for them to wither due to neglect. At first, I was disheartened, Abigail said. But instead of letting that failure define me, I learned the importance of dedication and nurturing. Those withered plants became a reminder that even our missteps can shape us positively if we allow them to. As the moon rose higher in the sky, casting silver beams into the room, Maya asked, So, what can I do to remember this lesson? Quote, Abigail gently placed her hand on Maya's shoulder. Create your own tapestry of wisdom. Maya, embrace every experience whether joyous or challenging, weave them into your being. And when you look back, remember that the past is a teacher, guiding you forward, not holding you back. Years passed, and Maya grew into a wise and compassionate young woman. She traveled far and wide, collecting experiences like precious gems, and wove them into her own tapestry of wisdom. In her heart, she carried Abigail's words, always mindful that the past was a canvas from which she painted her present and future. And in the heart of the village, Abigail's cottage stood as a beacon of light, reminding everyone who entered that the past was not a prison of regrets but a teacher of lessons. The tapestry on the wall continued to tell stories, not just of Abigail's life but of the countless lives she had touched with her wisdom. So, remember the lesson from Meyer and Abigail's story. The past is a teacher. A tapestry of experiences that can guide us forward if we allow it. Embrace your past. Learn from it. And let it shape you into the person you're meant to be.